Oh no, there's resin everywhere. Oh, oh no. Oh. How's it going guys? Today on my channel, I'm going to be testing some theories I have on 3D printing. You see, I've been making these pretty sweet dice here and uh, I've been 3D printing these. The only problem is, is that they are either clear or gray. Maybe I bought some of that green stuff I used for my commander deck in this video over here, but they're all really boring. So I'm gonna put some stuff in the resin and see if it will print. So this is the control group. This is the AnyCubic water washable clear resin. If you wanna try this out yourself, I have the link in the description below. As you can see, it's pretty clear. It almost looks like a diamond, but it does have a yellow tint to it. So we'll see how this goes moving forward. But as you can see, the prints were successful. So let's try adding some dye. All right, so I am using the Miracle Coup resin dye. This is special dye. For resin, it is not alcohol based, which I think is the important part to know about doing this. Alcohol based dye will break down the resin itself and that would not be good. So I'm gonna try putting some dots around with a couple different colors. I'm hoping to get maybe some marbling going on. Maybe some streaks of color would be really cool. So let's see how this turns out. All right, here's how it came out. It's looking pretty good. I think I could have done a lot more dye. As you can see, it's kind of turned green here. But uh, definitely no marbling going on, which is a bummer. It kind of got, all got mixed together. So the, the dye in the resin turned out pretty well. The original resin color kind of has a little bit of a yellow to it. So I should probably add a little bit more blue dye to get more of a bluish color. I was disappointed I wasn't able to get any sort of marbling in the colors. That's what I was kind of hoping I would be able to do. Unfortunately, it's kind of an all or nothing. The nature of the, of the resin print bed going in and out of the resin is just going to naturally mix up any of the colors you have there. So that is good to know though. I could just buy clear resin and with that, with this pack of dye, I, um, you know, I could, I got 12 different colors. I can mix colors. So basically I have infinite colors. Obviously a light blue is going to be hard with kind of a yellowish tint. It's always going to be green, but man, you could do red or purple or a dark blue. And I think on my next time, my next attempt, I'm going to try to put a little bit more dye in there. But the next thing is going to be mica powder. So I bought this big set of mica powder. I'll put the link in the description below. It's pretty sweet. It has a lot of colors in it. I need to figure out like a little spoon or something to do this. I, I really only have like this little pipette thing to suck up the mica powder and to spritz it in. Once again, I'm going to try to go for some marbling. I, I really, after the dye, I know that it's probably not possible, but I'm going to mix it up here and we're going to hit print and we're going to see how this stuff turns out. All right. And here are our results. And wow, this is awesome. These turned out super cool. You can definitely see clouds of mica powder in these dye. Uh, once they're cured and everything, they're gonna have to be polished up to look really nice. But yes, this is definitely what I was hoping for. This is awesome. So I added a lot more dye this time and that, that looks great. And it is very hard to see on camera. But there definitely is a bit of a shine. I've only polished up a couple of these edges but it will just hit the light just right and uh, 
you're gonna see some shimmery, some sparkly in there. And that is exactly what we want from mica powder. I think I can add more mica powder and get this even more shiny, more lustrous. That is really cool. I'm really excited about being able to add mica powder. Just adding a little bit of shimmer also kind of made it a lot more opaque than than the original so you know the original is pretty see-through this is pretty not see-through and the dye is pretty see-through as well so that is a very interesting result and i will definitely be using mica powder in my prints in the future All right, now to try this gold foiling. So I decided to wait until it had already printed a few layers first to start mixing things up. Because I noticed that the mica powder settled all at the bottom and when I removed the prints, there was like a hole where like all the mica powder was gone from. So I figured if I waited until later to add mica powder and then also to stir periodically throughout the print will help keep that stuff suspended and i um i added some some of this gold flake and well this is kind of a mistake i took the vat out to kind of get a better look at it and while i was doing that all the resin that was on top of the build plate was just falling onto the screen uh, no worries no need to panic uh, some alcohol cleans it right up and away we go. Yeah, stirring this mixture up looks so cool. At this point, I am so excited to see what the dice are going to look like that come out of this batch. And during the printing of this, I did stop a few times and mix up the solution just to keep mica powder in there, just to keep everything looking good. And... I think that's necessary when you're using the mica powder. So uh, stop periodically, mix things up, and then let it, let it go again. All right, and results are pretty crap. Yeah, the gold foiling did not work at all. The mica powder worked awesome, adding more mica powder. That looks sweet. As you can see the difference between the two dye here, the first mica powder and the second. But gold foiling, did not work. Well, all right, it uh, it failed. And on all the dies that I printed off, wherever there was gold foiling, um, basically that foil was probably covering up the, the UV light and making it not possible uh, to print. And that's why we got some weird situation going on there. Um, it kind of found empty spaces in there and then it got hard so I can't even pull it out of the uh, numbers. Otherwise, this one has a lot more mica powder in it as well. And the, the more mica powder really made a difference. It made it way more opaque. Definitely a lot a lot less see-through and it definitely has a lot of shine to it so I bet you this would polish up really good also when you're doing mica powder I think it's a good idea to stop the print uh, maybe even a few times depending on how long the print is and stirring it up just so you get uh, just so you get more mica powder in your prints because it tends to settle at the bottom after a few minutes so just stop the print mix it up start the print again. I think that's the way to go for mica powder, but unfortunately, the gold foiling was a fail. It's kind of hard to believe that all these are the same resin, and uh, it's, I, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with this stuff in the future, seeing what else I can do. If there's something else you want me to put in my resin, uh, let me know down in the comments and if you like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button 
uh, comment what your favorite animal is. Anything helps the YouTube algorithm. All right. Well, we'll see you dudes later. <laughs> Bye.